in the spare the moment just had this idea to vlog today because you know it's the art show today but it's not like the smaller art shows that I do there it's like a little bit bigger it's a hell of a lot more artists so I was like might as well vlog because it's like the second biggest show I've done no shade to the small shows most definitely love them and they most definitely like really help as far as like me figuring out what um what I need to do and how to improve like my table setup and all of that so you know both of them love them but anyways your girl just left walmart i'm too excited because first of all i've been looking for a part a pair of cargo pants that's a 32 34 for the longest and i finally found a pair of cargo pants that's 32 34 so i'm so excited about that kind of sad though because the chinese restaurant i wanted is closed so that sucks but it's okay because i'm gonna give me a strip home boy and it's the only strip home boy near me that's like good that i like and the rest of them they be i but they don't be hitting, you feel me? So then I found this little cutoff spot, you know what I'm saying, cut. So we finna go get that. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna pause this video, call in my order, cause my man's be having me ready. So that's that. Um, I hope y'all can hear it cause my hand is slightly over the speaker. But anyways, that's that. Um, I'm excited for this show. I don't know. It's just, you just kinda wake up on the first day of school type, you know, really happy and excited type vibes. I don't know, unless you didn't like school, then you probably just like, but I have like a lot of anyways um so I'm just ready for this you know what I'm saying I'm excited I got this whole like checklist I feel like I'm so much more professional I did like a whole checklist to make sure I got everything you know what I'm saying I'm gonna try this new method of setting up today so I'm just we're just hoping for the best but anyways your girl gotta get dressed I cannot go in there like this okay so I'm about to call this order in, go get my food, and then we're gonna head to the house. Um by the time I get home, what's time is it? It's four. Fuck, it's four now. Damn. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I might not even stop and get some meat because it's already four. I should have just went straight home. <sighs> Anyways, I need to turn air on. It's hot in this car. I'm gonna go straight home. I'm not gonna even stop and get nothing to eat, which is cool. I always get slutty vegan after anyway. I probably can make a can make a veggie sandwich when I get home. So it all, it's all fine. It all works out. I really was looking forward to that strong boy. Mm -hmm. It's alright, but yeah, I catch y'all in a second. You feel me? I love. So your girl is nice, fresh, clean. You feel me? And I really hate this part. This is usually makes me really late. It's because usually during this time period i take my time to like when i first got the shower i like to just chill and relax in my birthday suit you feel me like i don't like putting on clothes when i first got a shower but anyways um i gotta go and i don't have time to be late i have to be on time to this event because it's a large event so i need to get a parking spot i need to get an unload da -da -da -da. i gotta get there and i need to eat before i get there so with that being said your girl wants to do like a streetwear type of vibe but I I just bought some cargos, like I said earlier in the video. Um, I'm gonna do a street fit, but I don't know. These pants are like only wrinkled. Oh, we'll see how they look on. But anyway, so we're gonna try them on, try to fit on. The shirt I wanted to wear is out of the question, siblings. But um, I have to figure out a different shirt. But I felt like I probably wasn't gonna wear that shirt because it's two different pants. But anyways. Y'all, I'm finna record the get ready process on TikTok. And I'm gonna still post it on here. But, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make content for both, you feel me? So, I'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle over there. Make the video quick fast. By the time y'all see, it's gonna be all together. And it's not gonna even matter. You feel me? This is stuff TikTok does not see. Like, when I put a bit together, I be, you know what I'm saying? I be lit with it. Um. Uh, actually kind of hard, you hear me? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I like it. I don't ever do nothing like this. Give me a sip. Very much so giving model, you feel me? Ooh. I need a 
smile from the thing. You wanna see me good? I wanna see you good. Me, me, me. Set it off with bad. Set it off with the bad. See, this was in the art show. I would set it off with the bag. But because I'm gonna be carrying like 50 bags as is, we're not gonna set it off with a bag because we gotta carry like 50 of them in there. Not really, but really. I slick. Wanna put on boxers or shorts? You can see my jaws. <laughs> but if I can look a little boy with boxers on. Like, it's like, are you going to have them? I have them, might as well. We're going to change into verses. But we set it off with the bag. I don't ever get to run my verses. Anyways, socks. First, let me go off camera and change my drawers. Colorful ass crotch, it is. Cause they got the pink in them. Oh, I forgot I even had these, bro. I've been wearing, but I got the other Crocs I bought, and I've been wearing them all the time. So I forgot all about these Crocs, cause I don't got the ones with the fabric. I forgot about these. Yo. Yeah. Damn it, I can't see. It's damn light in the way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, so this is the fit. This is the vibes. This is the vibes we give it off today. Yo, get into it, okay? Anyways, so this is the vibes we give it up today. You feel me? With the yo, these is really tight. Damn. I can get my leg up there, but With the crotch. With the crotch. With the crotch. Hat with the pink and the blue crotch. The match. You feel me? None of us. These are really shorts I got for Rainbow. If you're wondering, they have like really cute cotton shorts. That's what I got on Rainbow. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about copying some boxes when I was at Walmart when I got my shorts earlier, but um. I didn't see. I didn't really look because I was rushing. That's what it was. I was like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Then we set it off. We did with the set it off with the vibes. Just smell good vibes. Um then I always pair it with this lotion. I feel like it balances it out. Cause no cap, sometimes I feel like that one be giving old lady. But not like your traditional old lady smell, but like your, I don't know, every, day, every time I wear it around somebody, they say it smells really good. But to me, sometimes it just gives off old lady. But anyways, I pair it with the peach, cause you know I got the peaches. Um, rubber stomach, cause you can't have no ashy stomach. You did? All right, hopefully my corn dogs are not burnt. I got veggie dogs, veggie corn dogs in there. Um, I will switch it out with the black hat, but I really feel like I'm really feeling this hat. Um, I feel like it vibes perfectly with the fit. All right, now I gotta go eat, and then I'll be set with the show. All right, bye, loves. So, as far as arrival time, it's looking like I'm going to get there at 6.57, not quite 6.45, which is okay because you can't really start setting up to 6, to 7 o'clock anyway, so it's cool, but I just feel really good because your girl real life is dressed, ready to go, and I am on time, bro, I am on time, and usually I am late, I be flying through here, like this man driving slow in front of me will be driving me crazy right now, but your girl is on time, so I am chilling, I get to vibe out, listen to my music, and really just get the coolage. I am so proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. And then, so of course, remember how I said my jeans was really real cool? So my secretary took over. She um, ironed them while I ate my food. So your girl is nice and good now. And we're not wrinkled anymore. 
shout out to my secretary she told me to make so much content so i'm guessing that means she's not coming um which is cool i already know i already know it was much love from her so i ain't tripping i ain't tripping but um I'm so excited i really want to grill oh my gosh you really set this outfit off not like a bull grill but like an open face grill but oh i hate when i do this because it's like you can go either way, and you guys choose to just be in the middle. This can go by so much faster if everybody just got to a side and went through it. It's not totally made that way, but a road is wide enough for it to be that way. But, um, anyways, your girl really want to grill. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, much love to my secretary, though. She she really be showing out for real, for real. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. Huh, I'm going to have to start getting ready a lot earlier. But, yeah. So, off to the city now. You know what I'm saying? City girl living. Just like entrepreneur living. You feel me? Boss stuff. So, gotta go. Gotta blast. So, I like completely read the email wrong. This setup was at 6. 6 to 7.30. So, I gotta hurry up. But, um, we're here. Just, just gotta get my lights together real quick. Mm -hmm. This light is lighting. Anyway, so two trip success. No more than two trips, so we're doing great. Um, it's a very long walk in here, and it's really hot. But it's really cute in there, like real, real cute. Um, I'll finish show y'all when I get up there. But for now, it's like really hot, real, real hot. Anyway, I gotta learn how to do my lashes. Money these days. But, okay, let me show you how to scenery. Alright, so, thank God this was my last trip. Because your girl's arms was definitely killing me. Like, and this walk was not short. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I know y'all probably thinking the same thing I was thinking. Like, where you at? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was looking kind of... I was very confused when I first walked in here. But, you know, as I kept walking, it got better. And I realized I was at the right spot. Because the first trip, I thought I was at the wrong spot. But, anyways... You walk in and then you see everything and you see the setup and it's really dope. Like when I saw this mural, I was like, okay, I'm in the right spot. Like that right there, that looked amazing. But you know, you walk in, you pretty much see all the other vendors getting ready. Everybody's still setting up, which made me feel like a lot better. Because like I said, I read that thing wrong and I was behind. But anyways, I got in there and everybody's still setting up. Everybody's still like, you know, getting their lives together. So I felt it feels great not to be the only one setting up. So, anyways, this is me setting up my table. I bring two, I try to bring at least one or two original pictures to these events. Um, because, yes, they're higher in cost, but you never know. Maybe somebody really just wants an original and they'll buy your original. So, I always bring those with me just in case. And I switch it up because I have a lot of originals that need a home. So, anyways, that's that. I bring that out. I set that up. And then, of course, you know, your girl always is, you know, helpful to the other artists. You know what I'm saying? We're all a community here. But anyways, um, after I finished helping Shorty take her pictures, I started um, pretty much just trying to figure out the best way to set up everything. Because my whole goal is never to look too cluttered. I like it to look neat, but also have everything on display. So this is like where I'm at right now with my display. I, it changes a few times it has changed a few times but i feel like right now it's pretty good i think the only thing i'll add to my table at this point is um some like totes like not totes but some containers to put my prints in because right now my prints are just kind of flat on the table and i want people to be able to go through them and like actually look but also it's like the way i set it and organize it i kind of just want you to look and not touch but I'm not one of those people to be like, ah, oh, I don't touch. Like, I'm going to let you, like, look through it because I want you to look through it. But it's like, dang, I got to reset this after you leave. So, at this point, I just want to get me, a, um, like, a little container to put them in so people can just look through it without it being an issue. And that way, that middle looks, like, a little less cluttered. You feel me? So, that was that. The setup, honestly, didn't take that long. So, I was good as far as the time crunch went. And your girl was really, like... I was in a good mood. And then this gentleman right here made my mood 10 times better because, you know, 
he started checking out my table and I'm like, you know, go ahead and you know say what you want, what you want. But me personally, I don't press people. I let people come to me and like if I see them looking and they try to engage in conversation, I engage, but I don't ever like overly try to sell myself or my stuff. Like if it happens, it happens. I'm like a firm believer. Whatever is for me is gonna be for me. And just like that, this young man bought a hat first of the night before the doors even opened. And one thing I will say about this venue is I love the like time frame we got because we really got to chill and mingle with the other artists beforehand and just kind of like really get a feel for everything going around. And I really like that. But this is my table. You know what I'm saying? Very nice, little colorful setup. Your girl is really loving her setup. The only thing I would change is this little area right here. But other than that, I really love my setup. But I'm done talking, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see the other venues and the other people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. vegan slutty vegan after the show is like personal tradition you feel me i gotta hit it like i really hate when i have a show on sunday because they be closed so you hear my feelings but slutty vegan after the show is a must baby gotta do it gotta do it anyway the show was amazing the hats did great it was really great vibes i had a lot of fun as you can see i'm a little tired and i got work in the morning so i'm gonna eat my sandwich and i'm gonna go to sleep you feel me because the nigga's tired and they're right, and we tired. You just want my food. You don't even love me. You don't. She don't pay me no attention. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you in a city, pull up. I'll be posting everything. So pull up. Come check me out. You feel me? Come get the vibes. It's always a really great time. It's always really great shows. Great energy. I had a lot of fun. Actually, no. Tonight was more of a chill night. I'm not going to leave a lot of y'all. <laughs> She's so greedy. I was really just creating, like, really just drawing. I love to just sit at the show and draw. It's very fun. Um, On my little iPad, whatever. But, yeah, guys, really great energy, really great vibes. I met a lot of great people, a lot of great artists. I'm trying to figure out where to put this down there. Okay, anyways, a lot of great vibes, a lot of great people. It's very fun. Hopefully, I feel like taking some pictures in this fit before I go to sleep because I think it's really cute. But, um, that's it, loves. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see y'all later. Yeah.